What's up, YouTube? I'm going to show you a new project. I got another toy along with the Razor. This is an 06 Predator 500. Yeah, I should have got a video of it before I took all the plastic off, but yeah, it's got red plastic. Just picture that. Actually, I'll throw a picture in right about here, so I remember. And uh, yeah, it's uh, like I said, 06 Predator 500. Uh, she's pretty good shape. Good shape. Runs good. Runs real good. Uh, I've always wanted a Predator. I always liked them. They're fast, cool machines. Uh, this ain't the right battery. I've got a different battery. I ordered a battery for a lithium ion battery, save some weight. Which isn't going to be a big deal because I'm going to end up putting an aluminum push bar, uh, aluminum front bum, uh, number plate uh, bumper thing, maybe uh, nets. Uh, definitely going to go with a, I have a pure Polaris pipe that I've located. We've actually, the guys we bought Polaris from were a big, uh, Nicholas Cycle is what they were called. They were big Predator race uh, builders. Built a lot of Predator bikes for racing. I actually have located a Nicholas Cycle race motor. They have a big bore race motor, blue printed block, all kind of crazy stuff done to it. And I'm hopefully going to try to get it. We haven't run a pure Polaris uh, pipe. I also have a uh, White Brothers uh, Carbon Pro exhaust or whatever, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's got a set of uh, what are they? Douglas wheels, I believe. Uh, yeah, Douglas wheels, the aluminum wheels. They're dirty right now. I'm gonna go ahead and polish them up, make them look good. I got a radiator hose leaking on that side. I'm gonna. I got me some silicone hoses ordered already. I polished up the valve cover because I'm bored. And I brought the mother's polish in here. So, you know, you know mother's polish here. Oh, that stuff's good. Mag and aluminum polish stuff does look good. I could have sanded it and made it look better, but I didn't. It just really didn't matter. I mean, you're not going to see it. I mean, anyways, really. I really thought about wrapping my pipe, uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that. It's really not that important. I've already washed the machine really good. Uh, I've got uh, probably going to get some new A-arms. I've got some A-arm guards, too, I found. Uh, I need to some steering. I got some. I got pretty good play. This is how much play I got, and that's a lot of play. Uh, I'm also missing. I hope this is I'm not chewed my shocks real bad, but I'm missing the bushings here and down at the bottom, and I'm really hoping that didn't ruin these shocks. I'm really hoping. I'm hoping I don't have to find a set of shocks. But the passenger side still, or not the passenger side, for the love of God. The left hand side still has the uh, bushings, but she's got a squeak to her, like they all do. I'm trying to figure out if it's the uh, swing arm or if it's the rear. It's the shock that's doing it. I believe it's a shock. So I'll probably tear them apart and put some uh, grease in there. Gotta go through and service the vehicle. That needs serviced. We got it, it didn't run. I bought this a used machine from us. I bought it not running. Uh, had low compression. Come to find out the valves were way, way, way too tight. The intake valves, the lost valves are fine. They were spot on. But the intake valves were way, way, way too tight. I shimmed them down, cod. I think it went from like a uh, 210 to like a 155 in the shims. It was a ridiculous. And it was 180 to like 155, I believe. Yeah, it's either 180 or 200, somewhere around in there. Big gaps though, I know. Uh, 06 got reverse, which is nice because I hate pushing these backwards. Uh, yeah, it's pretty clean. I mean, it was pretty clean when I first, uh, before I tore anything apart, it was relatively in decent shape. It's got two little cracks, stress cracks on the plastic here and on the other side. I've already uh, drilled the crack out. We put a hole in it so it won't crack anymore. Hopefully there. And zip tied it shut. It's underneath the uh, that beauty piece up front. So yeah. It's a pretty decent four-wheeler, guys. The thing does run good. Here, I'll fire it up for you guys, I guess. I think it's a big deal. Yes, 
sounds pretty good. I got the exhaust spark restorator. I think it's restorator. Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, that's out. It's actually down here in my bottom of my toolbox. But yeah, I got to pull off these wheels. We're going to jack up under the center of this, pull off these wheels, and uh, give them a good polish. Right now, I'm basically just cleaning it up, doing some preventative maintenance, and I think I'm just going to ride this bad boy. Uh, put my aluminum stuff on it that I can get hopefully cheap. I also got some blue plastic. It's cracked as well. It's new blue plastic, but it has had weight on it and broke some stuff. And, uh, yeah. Got a bugs problem here. Sorry about that. Mosquitoes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get these polished out, make them look good. Sadly, there's a few nicks in them there. And this has got a bend in it right here. Which I'm going to probably work on that a little bit. I believe the left hand side tires are on terrible. Yeah, this one's pretty good. That was real bad. Scratches that one up there, too. I ordered a battery. I ordered, like I said, the radiator hoses. I've got to get the bushings. It also needs brake pads. Uh, it needs tie rodings, like I said. I don't think the uh, these are bad, I think these are in good shape. Yeah, I think the uh, links, the inner links are okay. I know one thing when I drain the antifreeze out of it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull this radiator out and give it a thorough clean through in a sink because this thing is full of wheat seed and wheat grass seed. It's ridiculous. It's just like grass seed. It's full of seed. It's And I already blew it out somewhat. And it's still ridiculous. So yeah, hopefully I get that pure Polaris pipe on here. I'm not gonna use the White Brothers because just I already, you don't find them very much. It all depends. I might put it on here, and if it sounds good, I might run with it. I know I'm gonna have to rejet the carburetor. I'll do that probably. If it it depends, I put the pure Polaris pipe on it, runs good. Right now it seems to be running pretty perky and not real lean or anything with the pipe open and this flows the sad thing is this pipe open flows about as good as the pure polaris pipe does it's a little louder too i think but yeah seems to run good got my because my headlight plugs there i go home to clean my headlights up a little bit they're looking more dingy so yeah of course it's got the fox shocks it's not a, a trolley edition or anything wish it was It'd be orange on top of being a predator that'd be awesome Yeah, it's going to be a beast, I think. I'll do some more videos of this bad boy running. It's got 22s on the back. 22-11-9s. I'm going to go back to 20s because this originally came with 20-11s, 9s. I'm going to go with 20s on it. I'm going to do some hole shots, ITB hole shots. I also got some stuff with it here. Another set of rear tires. Hiding back here in the dark pit. Set of ITP. Paddle tires. So cool. If I ever get out to a dune or anything, I'll have some paddle tires for it. I'm not real sure what size these are. Um, these are 2011 10s. So these are a bit bigger wheel. I think I'm going to run with the stock Douglas wheel, or not the stock, but the Douglas wheels. Just because I like the look of them polished. Whoa. Why are you all stupid? There we go. All stupid to focus. So yeah. Gonna probably get some new chain. Gonna go ahead and clean up some battery terminal when I get my other battery terminal. Right now, the main harness, the power harness, is run up to the battery. And I don't know if that's how this was supposed to be on a Predator. This ran up to the battery. But I know most players says it runs to the positive battery terminal right here on the solenoid so i don't know uh sportsman 500 battery will fit in it uh a older sportsman 500 style battery will fit in it or the 850 battery as well will fit in it but it won't fit in it with plastic on it's too tall because there's a stock cell battery and it was junk so i basically just threw this battery in it so i was able to start it and move it 
And as you guys can tell, it had gas in the carburetor because the fuel tank's not in. Not on. I had a leaky fuel valve. I just replaced it. Uh, I had a, after I pulled it and reshimmed the valves, my valve cover gasket was leaking. So I pulled it off, polished the valve cover up. I don't know why, but I polished it up and uh, put a new valve cover gasket on it. Torqued everything back down. While I have the gas tank off, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a plug. Because I didn't put a plug in it. I might as well put a plug in it. Probably just put the same plug it's got. But yeah, I, this machine's a pretty good, pretty good shape, really. Basically, I think what I'm going to do is I'd like to build me a trailer about the width and length of this machine. And put like a 2-inch ball on it and then pull it with that. Make that a pull rig so I could pull that. Because this, I can drive where I live. I can drive that in town. No problems. They got no problems driving that in town. But they got a pro big problem driving quads in town. Any four-wheeler in town, mm -mm, no big, no deal. But where I ride these, are commonly, I just drive. I don't really want to have to trailer them. I don't have to load them up on the trailer and pull my trailblazer out to the place. Say, if I have a little trailer, I can keep around the house. Because normally, I don't have a trailer. And if I buy a trailer, I'm not going to keep it in town. I'll keep it out of the, out of the farm. Or uh, guys I know. I don't really have a farm. The farm I go to, which is the guy I know. Keep it out there somewhere. Keep my brothers, you know. Whatever. But I probably won't keep it in town because I really ain't got the room. And, uh, yeah. I'll just be able to load this up behind the razor. Tow the, out to where I'm going to play. Play a little bit. With the razor, of course. Unhook the trailer and play with the razor and the predator. Hopefully not break the razor because if I break the razor, I'm screwed. And load it up on the trailer and head back home and the razor. So yeah, I think it'll be pretty pretty cool. I'll have to find a good uh, light weight axle. Or maybe I can find a cheap utility trailer somewhere or something. Yeah. I thought about building it for two for two uh, bikes, but Yeah, I gotta touch that squeak, that's annoying. Uh yeah, I thought about building it for two bikes, and then I can carry two bikes. But, well, I don't know. It depends on what part of the country you're in. Or part of the... Well, it really depends on what part of the world you're in. Whether you call these bikes, quads, four-wheelers. I kind of call them an assortment. Almost with a Razor as well. This is a Razor Turbo I'm doing a recall on. Uh, people call them a Razor. People call them an RCR. RZR, not RCR. What the hell I said RCR for. But RZR, uh, a razor. Some people spell it like a razor that you raise your face, or like shave your face with, or that kind of razor. So, yeah. My insurance company spells it like the razor you shave your face with. And they don't spell it RZR like how it's supposed to be spelled, but they spell it that way. But, yeah. Well, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm just rambling now. So this will be some updates. I'm working on this one. This one will probably be completed and done before I start on the Razor project. Um, as you guys can see, there's a lemon head right there. There's an update on lemon head. I, just, I don't know what I want to do. I got an offer on it today of a pretty good price. I'm really thinking about going with it. Because if I sold this machine, I don't really ever ride it. It pretty much stays in my garage. If I sell that machine, I can afford to fix this one and that one. Which actually, I really ain't fixing them. I can afford to pay that one. That one's paid for. I got that paid for in full. I still owe money on that machine. And I can afford, if I sell that one, I can pay, for, pay that one off and proceed to get more stuff done on these if I sell that one. Anybody need a John Deere lawnmower near the Clarinda area? I'd uh, love to know. Long as the guy I work with, he'll cut you a deal just to get the hell out of here. So, yeah. <laughs> Thought I'd throw a plug in there. So, we'll catch you guys later and have a good one.